building APK files. All right, so hello everyone. We will learn how to generate a signed APK file. We need a signed APK file if we want to upload and publish to Google Play, right? So let's go to Android Studio and see how to do it. So of course we finished our project in Android Studio and in that last video we mentioned the version code. So now we just need to create an APK file so that we can publish it to Google Play. And I'll just go to the build menu and click generate signed APK bundle. When I click it, a new window opens. So in this window there are two options. First one is Android app bundle. And the second one is APK file. So the Android app bundle is a new version of Android APK. If you use bundle, your APK file size can be smaller, but it only works on Google Play. So it's a new feature. If you want to use it, of course you can use it. If you want to learn more about it, you can just search for it on the internet. The procedure is the same. So all right, I'll show you the bundle first. I will select bundle and click next. And in the next section, uh, first you just need to select the key store path. And this is a password file. First, you will create this file and save it on your computer. And then when you create an APK file, you will select it from your computer. And I'll show you how to create this file in the next video. So I'll click, choose existing, and select this file from my computer because I've created this file before, as I just said. And then after that, I'll just write the password of the file, define the password when I created this file, hang in there. So this is the first section. When we create an APK file, there are two password sections. The first one is for all of the applications. It's a password file that I will show you how to create in the next video. But the second one is special for every application's APK file. For this application, I will create a new one. And I will just click here and select create a new key. And I need to give it a name, right? Give a name to this password key. So I'll name it, uh, well, it'll just be to-do list project. Now, after that, I will need to define a password for this key. Now, this is very important. If you forget this password, you will not update your application in Google Play again. Because when you upload an updated APK, Google Play will check its password. If it's not the same, Google Play will not accept your APK file. So, I advise you to write this password somewhere, keep it safe. And just in case you're wondering, this password is valid for 25 years. Just so you know. So now I need to write some information here. Uh, at least I need to fill in one space <laughs> and click OK. So now I have a to-do list project key and its password. Now you can check, remember password. If you check this checkbox, it will remember your password for creating an APK file. Again, this password is very important. I have a password file with its password and a password key with its password. Okay, so now click next. And now there are two options, debug and release. So debug, of course, is for testing your APK. Not going to use it right now. So I'm going to select release. Now in here, we can choose where to save the generated APK file. And I'm going to choose a file. And we have a folder named to do this project. So in this folder, there is an app folder. And in the app folder, there is a build folder. And I will create a new folder in the build folder. Its name will be release. Android Studio will save this APK file in this release folder. 
So if I click finish, Android Studio will create this APK file. But before clicking finish, I want to go back to the top. So if I select APK section and not the bundle, what will happen? If you create an APK file, you can publish it in other platforms as well. For example, the Amazon Marketplace, or uh, there are some APK sites. People download from these sites all the time, and they download APK files. Android devices can take AP files from the outside as well, not just from Google Play. So I will select APK and click Next. And this part is the same, so I'll click Next. And this part is also the same, so I will click and select Release. Um, so the difference here is in these checkboxes. So I will check two of them and click Finish. So now Android Studio is producing an APK file. Android Studio will write all of the features in this APK file. So this can take some time according to your computer speed and the size of the file. But for now, mine is finished. Android Studio generated an APK file. So let's look at this file in the folder. It's under the C users, Android Studio projects, to-do list project, app, and release folder. And this is the APK file. So now I can publish this APK file on Google Play. So what do you think? We learned how to create the APK file in this video. But stay tuned. We've got some more info in the next video.